Hello everyone, Cindy here. I just wanted to share a, a haul with you. Um, I did uh, a Prima haul. I haven't really bought a whole lot of Prima, so I loved the Divine collection, so I wanted to get some of that, and then the, the mixed media doll stamps here. So, and I wanted to share that with you all. Pretty excited about the the Prima papers uh, that just came out, especially the Divine. That's my favorite. Um, I don't really have that many shabby kind of papers. So, anyway, so I got um, the six by six of the Fairy Rhymes, which I really liked too. But um, which you've all seen in the papers, so I don't really need to go through them. But So I got a 6x6 six six of the Fairy Rhymes and a 6x6 six six of the Lyric, which this is my second favorite. I love this one. And then the Divine, which I got two of these, of the 6x6. Six six. Love this one. And then two of the a4s of the Divine. I can't wait to start playing with this. Just can't wait. Such pretty papers. And then I got the chipboard stickers. Um, this is for the Divine. Love. And then the Lyric chipboard stickers chipboard pieces, I guess, and then the fairy rhymes. I love this frog down here. I just, uh, I don't know why. I just couldn't re couldn't resist him. And then another divine. And then I got the Prima Journal pad. And they had some, just some really great... Um, I guess background. Um, I haven't opened it. Let me open it here. Some backgrounds in there for what I've kind of seen. Still kind of new to the tags and everything. Oops, sorry for the glare, guys. Doesn't really help, does it? But all right, we'll just open this up. So I'll show you some of these. Great background for the stamps or just whatever, I guess. That one's really pretty. And that. Yeah, I've never really bought any Prima paper, so I'm really excited to start playing with some of these. A lot of my stuff is more, I guess, kid-friendly because I have four kids and and I kind of want to, I love the shabby, chic look, so I'm going to kind of go for that. So anyways, those are the papers of the art journal, so there you have it. And then I got, I wanted to try some of these chalks, um, anchors. So I just got three of them. I'm going to try them out and see how it goes. I got the um, pastel pink and the pastel green and the pastel brown. So try those out. See how I like them. And then I got a couple stamps. The postage one and the bingo one. So excited to try those. Okay and then the dolls. I was only to, able to find three of them of the doll stamps, and these were from Paper Wishes, um, and they were very fast shipping. And I got the three stamps and then the tags. But I love her. I love the little girl ones. I want to get the other one. I haven't been able to find it yet. So, and then her and her. So excited to try those out. So then. I also did some Hobby Lobby and 
and Michaels. Uh, not a whole lot at Michaels. So I'll show you that first. I had a few stamps in the $2 stamps. I liked this birdcage. cage. It had really, the lines were really wide on it. So I thought it would be good embossing. And, and then I just like that frame. And then this one. I liked this handmade one. So got those. And then I, they had this, and I just love this stuff, so I had to pick up these pink and purple colors. And they, these were 50% off, so I picked that one up. And then I had to pick up some of this. I got the silver and the pink. And these were 50% off, too, so excited about that. They didn't have the two other colors. They just had the, the two, so excuse me. And then I wanted to try some of this. I've never used this. They only had this one color chartreuse. So we'll see. See how that goes. Um, oh, and I picked up one other stamp. Make a big wish. So. And Art of Cakes, they still had some at our store. And these were like the stick pin ones. Got two of them. So I thought they were really cute. So try those. I'm kind of on the stick pin adventure here trying to make some so and then these in the two dollar bin I thought this light would be better but it kind of does a lot of glare doesn't it and then I didn't have the Martha Stewart butterfly so I picked up this one and the leaf one so I'm excited about those so oh and then Michaels also was doing their clearance so I picked up some of their notebooks for 50 cents so, I thought those were cute. So, that is my Michaels haul. And then, Hobby well, first of all, on eBay, I was watching um, YouTube, um, the Robin Laura channel, um, and I love her stuff. She does such great work. So, but she does the glass buttons. And I love them, so I had to get on eBay, and I picked up a few of these. And these are just gorgeous. I just love them. I'd never heard of them before. But they are just gorgeous. I'll try and get them up here so you can see them. Light. It's not working for me. So, love them. Can't wait to start using those. So, okay, so did the Hobby Lobby thing and picked up a couple stamps. They were 40% off, so I did those for sentiments in that one. Um, some of these Easter flower thingies or centers. I figured I could use them as centers. Um, I saw these punches, and I like them, so I picked up those. They were 40% off, so picked up those. And I saw these on Robin Laura's channel again. She, I think, had picked up some of these or something, but I just love the images on these, so I wanted to pick up some of these. I don't know if I'm going to do the bottle cap thing, but. So I just picked those up. And these are the vintage ones. I did pick up some bottle caps to try those, but I don't know how I'm going to like that. So we'll see. And then picked myself up one of these with a 40% off coupon. I just struggle with those little tiny things, so I want to try that. And then I wanted to get some beads and some findings because I really don't have that many. Um, so I just picked up a few of these. These were all 50% off, I think. So, some of those. And these I thought were so cute. They're little owls. I love owls. So, that's that. Um, and then, I just, I really like these things. So, I saw that they had them. And they were on sale, so I picked up some of those. And then their beads, some of their beads were 50% off, so 
I wanted to stockpile some bigger ones, so I picked up some some bright ones, and some of these are more of a neutral brown kind of color, and some greens in there. Color just really is not good. And some clear ones, and some of those. So, gosh, is it better? Maybe it's better if I just do that, huh? Pretty dark too. Yeah, sorry. So that was my Hobby Lobby haul. Oh, I did pick this up too. We'll see. Oh, I was going to use this on project, but I forgot. So we'll put that on something else. All right. So I went to my local thrift store, and they do these bags packages that you can get. They're stuffed full of things and they're priced different prices but then on a certain day you can get them for 99 cents. So I had been eyeing this one and they wanted I think eight dollars for it which really isn't bad but I knew I could get it for 99 cents so I waited and got it for 99 cents and I got a ton of laces in it. There's that this I mean just a ton and I'm so excited because you a lot of times you can't the bag is so stuffed full you can't see what's inside um, so <laughs> there was all this in there and then there was this in there I got the bag which is really cute. I could pull apart. And uh, just a ton of it. And then a couple more eyelet ones. Some palm things. And I'm not sure what to use those for, but and then this stuff, which is not sure what to use, but it for. And it kind of looks like it somebody had cut it off a blanket but there's just a ton of it ton there's that one and then <laughs> this this whole thing <laughs> oh my gosh can't even get it all in the camera all of this was in there and that's not it there's more and then there's this one <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all this but for 99 cents you can't beat it and then some red stuff that looks like a hot mess, but, you know, I might be able to work something out with that. But, anyways, I was pretty darn excited about that. Because um, I don't have a whole lot of laces, so. Um, yeah. I don't want to bore you with taking you through all of this, but excited about that. So, anyway. So that was my thrift store find. Um, oh, and I did find these at the thrift store too. These were like 20 cents. This is actually a keychain, but I'm going to take the beads off there and use them. And then this was there for uh, like 50 cents, I think, is what I paid. So. I think that's pretty pretty much it for my haul. Um, I did want to share a project with you. My mom is here and it's her birthday and so I made a card and a little basket for her. I don't know if I can get it all in here. Let's see. Oops. Oop, oh, okay, it's all the way out. But little basket and card. And this is um, my first balsa box and I've made a few cards but not a whole lot so I was pretty excited about this so the balsa box and then I gave her some Michaels some of those Michaels things and then a couple books from the thrift store so pull these out and these are the two things I made and then 
Oh, and a bookmark here. So she loves to read, so did that. So um, share my card with you first. Um, this was using Glitz paper, and the flower I learned from the Robin Laura, her YouTube channel. Um, I just love the flowers she makes. So um, this is some tool back here, and then I took some lace, and then these are um, hydrangea flowers. Let me show you. I just bought a spray at Michael's like this, and I pulled a couple of those off and then just put it in the center here. Just a couple of them. And then this is a Hobby Lobby spray from their wedding section. And then there's a couple wild orchids flowers here and a little bobble. I'm just not happy with the... Let's see if I zoom in. No, that's not going to work, is it? Oh. And then this um, stick pin that I made. I'm pretty excited about that. This is my first ever stick pin. And I like how it came out. It's pretty simple, but fun. And there's wild orchids. There, you can see my flower a little bit better. So, that, and then the inside quick. We already signed it. And then I signed the back with that stamp that I got at Michael's. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and then just a simple little bookmark. Um, this is using the Glitz paper. I don't know what it's called. But I was going to put pictures of my kids back here. But I left it. And she can do that if she wants when she gets home. So a little bookmark. And then my first altered balsa box. So... I don't think I like this lamp. I might have to go back to my old way. Anyways, um, so I just painted it with um, some uh, folk art champagne paint. And then uh, this is part of the Glitz paper line. Some trim I had gotten. And a Wild Orchids Craft flowers in the bobble I had gotten actually at the thrift store. This is a Wild Orchids. I just kind of smushed it and pulled the leaves out and put a thing in there. This is a wood piece that I had gotten actually at the thrift store and stamped on there. And then I just put some feet on there. So it can stand up on her desk if she wants. Um, and just that on the back. So, And then I just have pretty simple chocolates in there. I didn't really do anything in the inside. So, um, so anyways, that is it. Those are my projects that I have gotten done. Um, I hope you like them. Leave me a comment if you like. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you soon.